Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about what are carbohydrates and their classification. Carbohydrates have been divided into three different classes, monosaccharides, oligosaccharides, and poly polysaccharides. In this lecture, I'm going to talk to you about what are these different classes with examples. So let's first talk about what are carbohydrates. So carbohydrates are the organic compounds. They contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, and they conform to the empirical formula CxS2O, where X and Y are three or more. So, uh, so what are carbohydrates? Since in the carbohydrates, hydrogen and oxygen atom are present in same proportion as in water, like in water, like S2O, as shown here. Therefore, these carbohydrates are also called hydrates of carbon. Okay, you, if you look at this word carbohydrate here, it consists of carbo and hydrates. Th that means hydrates of carbon. Why carbohydrates are also called hydrates of carbon? Because in carbohydrates, hydrogen and oxygen atoms are present in the same proportion as in water. Therefore, this group of compounds uh, could also be em empirically described as hydrates of carbon. So then what is the actual definition of carbohydrates? Carbohydrates or saccharides. Saccharides, it is a Greek word which means sugar that are polyhydroxyaldehydes polyhydroxy or ketones or the substances that yield such compounds on hydrolysis. So what are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are polyhydroxyaldehydes or ketones or the substances which yield such compounds on hydrolysis. Examples of carbohydrates are, for example, here fructose. This one here is the fructose. This one here is the glucose. This is the beta D glucose structure. So carbohydrates are polyhydroxyaldehyde or polyhydroxyketone. For example, here we have the ketone functional group. Okay, so C double bond O, right? This is the ketone functional group, and on this side we have carbon, and here also we have carbon. So this is polyhydroxyketone. Fructose is an example of polyhydroxyketone, whereas glucose, if you look at the glucose structure, it is the aldehyde structure here, okay? C double bond O H, this corresponds to aldehyde, okay? This is the aldehyde functional group. Therefore, this is called polyhydroxyaldehyde. So, sorry, polyhydroxyketones, they are called ketoses, whereas polyhydroxyaldehydes, they are called aldoses, okay? Carbohydrates, aldoses. If they have aldehyde functional group, if they have aldehyde functional group like this, if the carbohydrates have aldehyde functional group, they are called aldoses, okay? They are called aldoses. If the carbohydrates have ketone functional group, okay? If the carbohydrates have ketone functional group, and then they are called ketoses, okay? They are called ketoses. So what are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are polyhydroxyaldehydes or polyhydroxyketone or the substances that yield such compounds on hydrolysis, okay? So now I have talked about what are carbohydrates. Now let's talk about what are the different classes of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates have been divided into three different classes generally. So these three different classes are monosaccharides, okay? Monosaccharides, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides, okay? Monosaccharides, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides. Now let's first talk about monosaccharides. What are monosaccharides? Monosaccharides, they contain a single polyhydroxyaldehyde or ketone unit or a single saccharide unit, okay? Monosaccharides, mono means one, as the name suggests. Mono means one. These compounds contain one saccharide unit or one or one polyhydroxyaldehyde or ketone unit. Examples of monosaccharides are glucose and, for example, fructose. Glucose, it is an aldose, whereas fructose, it is it is a ketose. So glucose is a common monosaccharide and which molecular formula is C6H12O6 and which can also be written as CH2O6. So the most commonly occurring monosaccharides, they contain three to six carbon atoms in an unbranched single bonded chain. Okay, so what are monosaccharides? Monosaccharides are the carbohydrates that contain single polyhydroxyaldehyde or ketone unit or simply single saccharide unit. So then now let's talk about what are oligosaccharides. Oligosaccharides contain 
two to ten monosaccharides units. Okay, monosaccharide contain only one saccharide unit, whereas oligosaccharides they contain two to ten monosaccharides units. So oligosaccharides they they are further divided into disaccharides, trisaccharides, tetrasaccharides, and so on. So what is disaccharide? Di this means two. Okay, disaccharides. Di means two. Disaccharides means that these uh, these saccharides or these carbohydrates have two monosaccharides units. Example of disaccharides is here Sh sucrose. Sucrose is a disaccharide unit. That is a, the, is, is a disaccharide carbohydrate which, which is composed of glucose and fructose unit. Okay, this is a glucose unit, right? This is this here is a glucose unit and this here is the fructose unit. Okay, this here is the fructose unit. Okay, this here is the fructose unit. Okay, so this is one unit and this is one unit. So basically two units, right? So therefore, this is called disaccharide. Why sucrose is disaccharide? Because it is composed of uh, two units, one glucose unit and one fructose subunit. Similarly, trisaccharides are the carbohydrates that contain three monosaccharides units. Example is here, is shown in this picture, this is one saccharide unit, this is another saccharide unit, this is another saccharide unit. And I forgot to mention here that one saccharide unit is linked to another saccharide unit by glycosidic linkase. Okay, this linkase, okay, the linkage between one saccharide unit to, uh, uh, to another saccharide unit is called glycosidic, okay, glycosidic linkase, okay, glycosidic linkase, okay. So one saccharide unit is linked to another saccharide unit by glycosidic linkase. So these are trisaccharides, tetrasaccharides are the carbohydrates containing four saccharides units, similarly penta saccharides, five saccharides units, and so on. So what are oligosaccharides? Oligosaccharides are carbohydrates containing two to ten monosaccharides units in which each saccharide unit is linked to another saccharide unit by glycosidic linkase. Now let's finally talk about polysaccharides like oligosaccharides. Polysaccharides are long polymers of monosaccharides that are held together by glycosidic linkage. So in polysaccharides, then we have more than 10 saccharides units. Okay, so then from 11, uh, mm, uh, from 11 and above. Okay, so poly polysaccharides, they are long polymers of monosaccharides units which contain at least 11 saccharide units and more. Okay, so Polysaccharides have been divided into two different classes, okay? One class is called homoglycans and the other class is called heteroglycans. As the name suggests, homo means same, okay? Homo means same. That means that if a polysaccharide contains, if a polysaccharide contains same monosaccharide unit, okay? Same monosaccharide unit and that kind of polysaccharide is called homoglycans. Then heteroglycans, if the polysaccharides contains different monosaccharide units, hetero means different, okay? Hetero means different. If the polysaccharide contains different, different monosaccharide units, that is called heteroglycans. So basically the homoglycans contain single type of monosaccharide monomer in a ring structure, whereas heteroglycan contains more than one type of monosaccharide unit, okay? Heteroglycan contains more than one type, whereas homoglycan contain only one type of monosaccharide units. Examples of polysaccharides are, for example, starch. One of the popular examples of polysaccharide is starch.